Well, speaking of scary, uh, there's a lot of scary in this show. Uh, there's this, the, 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 the balance of humor, horror, I, I, this is an amazing script. What? How did you guys get involved? And what about these characters that connects to you? Well, um, these are my people. Um, my family came from Poland and Russia, and uh, uh, some were in the camps, and uh, and. The primary thing when I first read it was just the profound beauty of the writing, and yeah. I just just wanted to be a part of it. Yeah. What about you two? You kind of add a different feel to it. I love what you bring to it. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I I really connected with David's writing as well. Mm -hmm. We weren't we we were all given the pilot, and I. I had a little scene from episode seven, which you're not privy to, but when I read that little scene, I, it just got to the core and the heart of Joe in a way that um, touched me so much. And that's the beautiful thing about David. Like, just he, um, he's created this ultra-violent, ultra-stylistic ultra, um, uh, story, but at the heart of it, there's like a beautiful, beautiful core and heart, and, mm -hmm. and that's at the heart of every episode. And that's why, why I, I, I like it. Yeah. Agreed. You, God, you have so much to call. I mean, this is such a great character. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, it was like I'd never read anything like it. And the people that were involved. I mean, when I met David and I just, when I walked into the room to audition, it felt like love in the room. I can't mm. explain it. It felt like a safe space um, from the very beginning. And um, I knew that they would you know, take care of us and take care of this story that was very special. And I just wanted to be a part of the team. It was kind of, for me, yeah. Well, I think, uh, I'm gonna go back to you a little bit because I think there's what you and Sal bring to it is so human and so beautiful. Thank you. And, and I, I think that maybe, I feel it feels like a really important time for this show to come out. Oh, I, I think it's, very important. I think that, you know, I read somewhere that said like 71% of people under 25 don't really know about the Holocaust, you know, and I think that it's, well, it's always been and it will always be important to know about it and remember. But I think that right now, politically, we're in danger. We're getting to a place where we're, we're following in some of the footsteps of how this happened and that everybody has to wake up and I think the show will help with that and will uh, uh, definitely uh, at least get people talking, a discussion, you know. And the, the level of violence here, it, it's so extreme, yet there's, there's a humanness even to that. You, I feel like the moral you know, kind of, there's a moral issue for all of you mm. here. Can you, can you quickly talk about that and how, how you deal with that as, as performers? Yeah, I mean, I think the Holocaust was so violent. It was so, I mean, really when you read about it, watch the documentary of everything, you can't overestimate how brutal it was, right? Yeah. And so I think that is the motivation for our characters and it, I'm not saying it, it makes it okay, the excuse or the reason why it's okay for us to be so violent, but in a way you see the motivation, you see why we're like, look, we can torture this person to death because of what they've done. You have, you know what I mean? It, it kind of motivates it, but also it's so stylized in our stuff that it isn't like, oh my God, I can't watch this. Yeah. It's not disgusting at that moment, you know? Well, we, we always had these discussions actually on set, like are we getting to the point of, you know, like nobody wants to see torture porn. Right. And um, um, what cost does this vengeance and violence have? And, and I think if you continue to watch throughout the season, you'll see there's a heavy cost for even what we're doing. So, yeah. Yeah. This is bigger than anyone realizes. They are among us. They are communicating and they have plans to attack. So the time to act is now. You put together a group of Nazi honors. We just have to get creative. 
how to not to get into the States. I'm on the first flight back to New York to find out. I want to know who you are! I must send a message. Not again. Welcome to the hunt.